There's nothing like the promise of fresh paint. And today I want to share some tips with you on filling pans. So here's a color I've never tried. I'm excited to check it out. Potter's Pink by Daniel Smith. So I'm squishing it down as I squeeze it gently into the pan, pulling it off at the corners. So now that's nice and filled. And I'm going to set it out to dry overnight because a lot of colors take a couple fills. Here's one. This is Daniel Smith Mayan Red. You can see my shorthand label there. I have a label maker. Has sunken in and a second fill and even possibly a tiny third top off will really fill these up. So these pans can really last me a good long time. So we'll give that a second squeeze and then again set it aside to, uh, to dry. Worth the patience. Now some pans some paints will crack a little bit more than others in their pans. They're a touch more brittle. Uh, this includes um, like French ultramarine or ultramarine, sometimes lunar earth or lunar black. And if they do start to shrink or fall out of the pans, you can add a little paint to the bottom to kind of glue it in. Or sometimes when I do my first fill, I'll do a touch of glycerin. And finally, I want to share with you another technique for filling pans that I've learned from some artists, which is to just do a partial fill, squeezing your paint in, most of it near one end. So then you can sort of apply your brush on the paint and into the pan. Another nice effect. One final tip similar to that is with yellow, which tends to get dirty in palettes, you can sometimes do two yellows, one for mixing and then one to keep clean love that idea. Hope you enjoy filling your pants and please let me know if you have any questions.